Oh, hey, yeah, sorry, guys. I didn't see it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> People, welcome to Valfish Bay. <laughs> Just punch. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky, and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. After arriving in Luderitz, Namibia from Cape Town, South Africa, we went exploring in the ghost town of Kolmansholm. In case you missed our last episode, I suggest you go check it out. But Kolmanskorp was a diamond mining town that got deserted in the late 1950s. Found your spot. I'm retiring. I'm coming to work full time here for these guys. Engineer. Engineer. Oh, hey, yeah, sorry, guys. I didn't see that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Can you get the shampoo, please? <laughs> Just use the shampoo in the tub. a teenager you put some sweets inside there and then when he's inside you close him up <laughs> this used to be where they made ice there's the ice fill it up with water there's your pipes cooling system yes there's a fridge Ricky this was the 1908 version of the Calvinator Fridge. Nice so in here. Yeah? Cold beer at the bottom. We headed off to Diaz Cross after Coleman's Corp. Phil drove us along the coastline, giving us some cool stops along the way to Diaz. A couple of days ago, we were in these conditions. The wind slowly but surely was picking up, making flying the drone quite difficult and stressful. After our coastal adventuring, we decided to head off to Diaz Cross. If you're wondering who Diaz is, it's Bartholomew Diaz. He sailed around the southernmost tip of Africa in 1488, the first European to do so, setting up the route from Europe to Asia later on. Diaz is the first European during the Age of Discovery to anchor at what is present day South Africa. Bartholomew Diaz! In 1488, while homeward bound from his pioneering voyage around the Cape of Good Hope into the Indian Ocean, Bartholomew Diaz sailed into the inlet presently known as Luderitz Bay. 
Hill also took us to the whaling station that was used by British, American and Norwegian whalers from the late 18th to the early 20th century. They hunted for southern right and other whales. And we got to check out this cool old school engineering shop. And the last stop was to check out the church. Or even worse, would you look at me with pity in your eyes? It was time to head off to Vault for Space, so we replenished with water and fuel and off we went. Okay, I'm gonna upload the episode this morning before we leave and now the internet is extremely slow and we've left and I'm connected to my phone data and I'm hoping that it will upload in time by the time that we get out there and I lose reception. We barely left and Ricky was already fishing. The weather has been seriously crap today. Um, it's been misty and miserable and the sun hasn't been shining. But we are not too far from Volfus Bay. Hopefully we'll arrive tomorrow morning. Luderitz to Walfus Bay is about a 254 nautical mile sail. Hey people, welcome to Walfish Bay. Walfish. Walfish Bay. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode. And don't forget to like this video. It's a free way you can support our channel. Anchored and we're ready to explore. Our first meal in Volfus. Mm -hmm. 
like the size of your head. We do. Ching ching. Men's the only one that eats out. Ching ching. Ching ching ching. So we got our wheels to go explore. Yeah. Ricky's so tired. It's like he's I'm gonna trying to keep my eyes. <laughs> he's trying to keep his eyes open. He said he's gonna try last till tonight and then he'll yeah. sleep solid because he he has a little bit of FOMO. Flat out when you're in the new town, I just gotta go check it out. But yeah, we're gonna rent these wheels. And uh, go off roading okay. and go explore Walfus Day. We didn't do much exploring the first two days as we wanted any necessary boat mods to be done first before everyone closed for Christmas and New Year's and get the boat organized and clean again. So, early morning. Well, early ish morning start and uh, me and Glenn are going to the engineering guys there's a little bit of play in the rudder and it's just the one end bushes so we're gonna get that done and while we got it we stripped the entire unit and uh, so we're gonna get all of that checked over be a good time now we've got the engineering guys here and uh, we arrived here at the yacht club two days ago Pretty nice setup, got a nice little beach that you guys come that we come up to. And we docked the dinghy, there's Lady Africa over there. I'll grab one. You'll be good to grab those, man. Sweet. Mona and Wade are on the boat. They're busy cleaning out. Wade's doing exterior. Simone's clopping the interior. shank to cut new bushes we're gonna put bushes on everything and washes and um, but yeah this place has got everything we need Glenn's um, enjoying the cruiser <laughs> and uh, yeah we should kick it out in no time hopefully all depending on how long it takes to machine two faces for us and drill two holes at the moment we're gonna go look for a new microwave because the old microwave ate the floor so take a nice drive to Swarko Swarko I'll show you what it looks like as the entrance and we're gonna go get we're gonna eat some pig we're gonna go get some lunch what are we gonna Einspein this place is freaking epic. Love Namibia. I'm taking a video, but I like the pose. You gotta put that in. Stopped in for some Einspein at a local German restaurant. What do the Germans say? Frost. Frost. So us back home with no microwave, but tomorrow is a new day. Good morning. We got Skipper Wadey taking us into town this morning. Our chauffeur. Our chauffeur. We're one day late, but we're gonna go check in, get the... Uh, well, we checked in already to Lulu, but we just need to go to customs and stamp the check-in document. And then we're good. And then we're going to continue with the adventures that we've got. Find a microwave. Operation find a microwave. We're going to get one today. Yesterday we tried the whole day. We're trying to look for the same one we had. Just to close the problem. But I think we'll get one today. We'll be good. The 
Look at that little tourist. His Hawaii shirt and his hat. Waity, are you ever gonna get out your room? <laughs> Ricky, I like your outfit. The microwave fell off our counter because I forgot to strap it down and so the glass broke everywhere with our rogue wave we had. And um, so we pretty much have walked Luderitz and Volta space flat. And Swakopmund trying to find this with a microwave. And we want the same microwave for the reason being that it's 700 watts output. So our inverter has no struggle with it at all and we can run it for longer periods of time versus buying like a 1200 watts of microwave. We can only run it for a certain amount of time. I think it's like 10 minutes. So we were looking every way for this microwave and we found it here at House and Home in the Dunes Mall in Valfus Bay. So we grabbed it for now. We're taking a bit of a bit of time purchasing it because now it seems like it's not showing up on the system. <laughs> Ricky got the microwave, run honey, run! After getting our microwave, we went to go pick up Luke, Wade's best friend from South Africa that flew in to come visit us. Check, I'm dressed for this man. So put proper gear on. Mission number one, one we get back. This looks amazing. This is mind blowing. Look at the boys. Come on! Come on! You're not even close! Like, can I go home now? Yes, <laughs> I'm dying already. <laughs> that is freaking insane. It's a lot steeper and a lot tougher than it looks. I think where you made it to the top. They're going back down already. Ouch. Yes, it's hot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just punch. Shade. Shade. After playing around in the dunes in Valpus Bay, we decided to go to Swakopmund to check out the sunset. This is pretty freaking epic. Yeah. On top of the dunes, here in Langstrand, and it's freaking epic. Sun setting down, check it out. Dunes and dunes. And then on the other side, I'll show you what it looks like oil rigs and ocean. And some more. Two little hobos. <laughs> the young team already lost due to inexperience. They pushed too hard in the start. And the old boy is just chugging away at it. One day in the desert. Look at these hooligans. <laughs> Before heading home, we had to ensure that the boys got rid of all the extra energy they had. Stay tuned till next week where we do more adventuring in Volpus Bay. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to join the Lady Africa family, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below.